In this video tutorial, I'll be covering warrior two preparation and proper alignment for the prenatal athlete. So I'm currently in my third trimester, six and a half months pregnant. I've been training with Steel Mace Vinyasa throughout my entire pregnancy and I love it because it's really low impact on the joints, but it still keeps you strong and stable in all the areas that you need when you're training for a natural birth. So let's take our mace down to the floor and let's just start with the setup. So looking at the posture warrior two position. So generally when we're pregnant, we don't really want to be bearing more load on our joints because they're already really achy and they already have so much weight. I've gained about, gosh, 35 pounds so far in my pregnancy. And what's happening in my pelvis is it's starting to stretch and stretch and stretch. So there's a lot of weight and load on ligaments that are normally not used to carrying that much weight. So some key modifications for the Warrior II leg stance. Firstly, see that your external rotation starting at your uh, top, the top of your hip, so where the femur inserts into the pelvic bone. And see that your back foot is actually turned in slightly, so there's a slight bit of internal rotation. And then find your optimum weight-bearing angle here. So it might be a little high. Couple checkpoints, you can find a fist on the outside of your thigh here and then here to inspire both external and internal rotation. Then take the arms out to a T, pack the shoulders. The hip bones will be facing one direction and then the thoracic spine is rotating opposite to be able to achieve the arms out to a T. See that your wrists are in the same line as your shoulders. See that your back glute is on, might take a closed fist to the glute here. See that your heels are in line with each other and you've got good alignment here. Nice variation for reverse warrior, looks like this. And then pivot and switch sides. Of course, if you're practicing vinyasa, you'll go through a vinyasa sequence. I just wanna show some key alignment points. So when instructors, you're coming to regular yoga class and they're instructing you to come into warrior two, take it upon yourself to do those extra hands on assist cues. Torque check here, knee aligned over ankle, back foot turned in slightly. And these, also, these also apply to everyday practitioners that are not pregnant too, just finding these alignment points. So our goal is to find a fully activated warrior two versus a passive partial bend. This is not really doing much for my structure. I'm just putting all the load in my quad. And instead I wanna load my external rotators, find stability for my internal rotators, find thoracic rotation, perfect alignment here. You'll notice later on when I pick up the steel mace that everything's gonna turn on, but first let's just blueprint what we want to accomplish in that yoga asana. All right, so warrior two prep. So you can begin with your uh, heel and knee in one line, press the hips all the way forward and take the arms out to a T. So the only difference between this posture and warrior two is that instead of bearing load from my ankle, from my foot here, now I'm bearing load from my knee, which allows me to take out some of the, the work so I can really focus on the form of my external rotators, internal rotators, glutes, and thoracic rotation. Grab the mace, place it in reverse guard position, elbow married to the rib, top hand facing out, press the hips forward to engage the glutes, press the arms up and overhead, it's called a horizontal overhead position, return back to reverse guard. So you can find just a few repetitions here and maintaining stability in your hips. So this leg is continuously driving back, marrying the foot to the ground, power breath. Next progression, press the mace out in an over over grip position here. Sit the hips back and notice I'm increasing the knee flexion. So quite a bit of load on my knees. Be careful if you have any old injuries in your knees, you might just wanna go part way back working on hip hinge. If the over over grip is funky or uncomfortable, you can always take a two handed flag. But our whole goal here is starting to mobilize the hips under light load. So eventually over time we find that mobility when we take the load away. In still mace vinyasa we call this post activation potentiation, recruiting maximum motor unit recruitment of the muscles that we're using in the transitions uh, so that we have full power when we take the load or the mace away. Other variations, the more advanced, would be to pivot the back heel open, press up, find your warrior two leg stance here. Bring the mace back to reverse guard, place the knee on the ground, sit back, press forward, over, over, grip. 
and press the mace up and overhead, neutral wrist. Here to here. Other variations for level two and three athletes, option for a partial drop swing, bringing the mace to prayer, and then externally rotating back to reverse guard. Knee comes down, sit back, press it out, flag. Again, option for a full drop swing. Again, I catch it in prayer, and I have this moment of external rotation where I'm recruiting my external rotators and rotator cuff posterior delts to do that work. So building on those layers of complexity, keep, uh, keep us building coordination, agility, proprioception, when a lot of times the last thing we wanna do when we're pregnant is move around. This will help us keep a deep connection with our myofascial meridians throughout the entire pregnancy. The more we can stay in touch with those areas, the easier we're gonna have a time when we're going into natural birth. Switch sides. First, find the setup. Feel free to take rest if you need to between right and left sides. Do your torque checks. Here, let's make sure I have enough room. mace. So really important here, crush the mace together, full grip conformation, press the mace up and overhead, pack the shoulders. Everything's turned on here. So the only difference between this and resting on the floor is less load on the ankle, but I'm still activating my hips and finding my shoulder pack. Exhale. Option for sit backs, packing the shoulders or partial sit backs. And I encourage you, if you're watching this video, you've seen a lot of the content I've put out, you can still try these even if you're not pregnant. They're still really great modifications for beginners or people that are working on just refining on their low intensity days, low and mod, or even individuals that are carrying extra load or extra weight. These are great modifications. Pivot the back foot out, curl back to under, press the mace up and overhead. Find your warrior two, hold. Pound a coccyx alignment. Bring the mace back to its landmark, elbow um, touches the rib here. Knee comes down first, then swivel, then press out. I know it looks scary. If you need blocks at first, you can just work on breaking this down. So I might come here, just working on this range of motion. And then eventually here. Once you're here, spiral. And just break those pieces apart one increment at a time. And then when you feel confident, you know it's time to lift, listen to your body, you'll know. Option for partial or full drop swing. Knee down first. Swivel, sit back. Partial. Pull. Drop swing, catch. All right, let's put that into practice. So you'll notice I have two blocks here. I'm entering from a wide-legged straddle. I like this because it just stretches my hamstrings. You can, again, enter it from any other flowing position as well. Let's just do the basics, the Hatha style basics. So mace in prayer, rise up, externally rotate front knee, find your alignment here, modified side flag, or full. Option to press the mace up and overhead, option to take the hand down or half bind. Perform your mace switch and warrior two switch. Inhale, pivot, front toes in. Elbow stay back, exhale, warrior two, modified, or full. Pressing the mace up and overhead, finding that shoulder pack, bring the mace back to side flag, give the toes in. If you wanna even out the spine, you can perform a good morning torch press. From wide-legged straddle, inhale, glide down. Exhale, press the mace up and overhead, Breathe. Inhale, hinge forward, place the mace down in the spine intelligent way. Perform your warrior two, unloaded, hold, working on all your checkpoints. 
Torque in the legs, internal rotation of the thigh, thoracic rotation. Flip the front palm, reach up and out of the waist. Go for vertical instead of bending the arm here. Find some length to release the lat here. It's an area that gets really tight as we continue to bear more load on the front body. Warrior two. Put the toes in, parallel the feet. Put the back toes out. Warrior two. Hold and breathe. Feeling alive throughout the entire pose. At no point are you floppy or breaking, but really working on that athleticism within the awesome. Flip the front palm, reach up and out of the waist, inhale. And exhale. Step the feet together, return to mountain pose. Take a moment to tune in to heart and belly. Listen in to what's coming up as you enter those warrior asana, as you strengthen. You can continue on with your practice. I hope you found these useful. Use them often. It's a pleasure and honor to teach and share this practice of steel mace vinyasa. Namaste.